The dump can be a very active place, with lots of frenetic motion of birds jostling for the prime places to get food. The Cornell University compost piles are a great place to watch gull aggression and submission in action. At the compost pile, birds have to dig through a covering of wood chips and leaf litter to reach the waste food underneath. Holes excavated in the side of the pile become prime assets to be fought over. One way herring gulls signal aggression is with a posture called the upright threat. A bird extends its neck, bends its head down, and keeps its wings ready to whack an opponent. Another threat display is the long call. A herring gull sticks its bill out and down, then swings it high over its head, trumpeting a loud vocalization. The long call is given as a threat or a challenge to another gull coming close, or as a celebration of having beaten a rival. But just making threats doesn't keep a gull from being ousted by another, more aggressive gull, or one that's just bigger and badder. Even the most aggressive herring gull will usually just move out of the way if a larger great blackback gull comes at it. Some gulls try to hang around the edges of the holes and pick up stray bits of food. These gulls often signal that they're not looking for a fight by using submissive gestures. A common one is the head toss, a motion commonly used by chicks begging to be fed. The gull pulls its head in and points its bill quickly upward and then back down, often making a high whistling sound. A gull trying to avoid a fight will often give a head toss toward any other gull it thinks is potentially threatening. Signaling submission helps, but at the dump, it's no guarantee that somebody won't attack you anyway.